Hello all, welcome to Netbook and welcome back to Emil Soft Tutorial. Today I'm planning to talk about how we can create a file in SFTP location using the Microsoft. We can securely transfer the file to the SFTP location from the using the Microsoft. What is a SFTP? First of all, we need to understand. SFTP is one of the protocol. It is a secure file transport protocol, which is part of SSH, and we can call even SSH file transport protocol. It works as a same file transport protocol, but with a secure connection. The advantage is ability to leverage a secure connection to transfer files from your local system to remote system. Mostly, in most of the cases, SFTP will be preferred because of it is a secure. FTP is non-secure. If we have a trusted file system or network, then only it is better to use the FTP, yes, FTP protocol. FTP is file transport protocol. What are the most used? The common use cases for SFTP connector is in MuleSoft, we use SFTP connector to integrate with SFTP system. We can use this SFTP connector for reading a files or listing all the files from the SFTP location, as well as it is going to support the common operations like creating a directory if you want to copy from one location to another location and you want to move the file, if you want to rename and deleting files, for this, we use SFTP connector, as well as it support the locking files. That means if somebody accessing the file, if you want to lock that file, you can lock that file. And we can use the file matching functionality. Also. How we can integrate using the MuleSoft, this SFTP? We need to add SFTP dependency in a Mule project, and then we need to create a global configuration for SFTP connectivity. And then I want to write a file. That means I want to create a new file. For that reason, I need to use write component. And then I need to map the file name and what file content you want to uh, transfer or create in SFTP location. That mapping we need to do. Let's get started. I'm opening AnyPoint Studio over here. I'm going to create a new project. Right click new mule project. I'm going to give name as sys sftp.api, iPhone API. Click on finish. The first step is adding the SFTP dependency add module. You can see over here, SFTP dependency, we can add it. If you want to integrate with a FTP, with a non-secure, uh, non you can use FTP over here. If you want to integrate with a local file system, you can use file connector over here. You can drag and drop. Similarly, how I added the SFTP, you can add it, those. If you see, these are the components which is available if you want to integrate with SFTP. Like you can copy a file, you can create a directory, you can delete a file, you can list all the files, you can move the files, Whenever you, somebody add a file into the file location, if you want to generate a mule event, you can use on new. We can use read for reading a file content. You can rename a file. And if you want to write a new file, you can use this. I'm going to show over here, writing a new file in SFTP location. The first step is I have added this SFTP connector uh, in the dependencies. You can see that is added over here. It will be added as in a form.xml also. The second step is we need to create a global elements, create SFTP, SFTP configuration. So this is secure connection. So you need to get one of the SFTP um, server details. Mostly it will be provided by the SFTP team. So for this testing purpose or for this video, I have logged in one of the website over here files.com 
which is going to provide you seven days of free trial. I'm using this. I just logged in over here. I signed up with the account over here. Under this, I have created this uh, folder, netbook. Under that, I created upload folder. Now, I need to get the SFTP location details. So SFTP location details is my host is netbook.files.com. This is I just created my account. So that's why it is netbook. It is coming. The files.com is common name over here for the files.com. This is my host name for the connection over here. Make sure that you provide correctly over here. For secure connection, the port number is default port number is 22. That is double two. It is I have given. And the username. This is my username which I logged in. I created account. I'm going to provide the username. And the password. I'm going to provide my password over here. You can log in over here uh, with your account. That means you need to sign up for the first time. And then you can provide your details over here. And then you need to provide working directory. If you see that I have a directory over here, netbook slash upload. So I'm going to provide slash netbook slash upload. This is the file location where I want to upload my files. That's why I'm giving over here. And if you have a functionality of reading and writing different folders, you can provide a root directory. And from that, if you want to read it, and it is good to specify that, and it is not a mandatory also. And click on test connection. So if you have provided all these details correctly, the test connection get success over here, the way it is showing over here, test connection successful. That means the connection is established with this configuration. Click on OK, click on OK. That is the second step we need to do. The third step is in the mule message flow, I want to drag and drop a write component over here as I want to create a new file in a SFTP location. If you see that I don't have any files as of now, when I tested this application, it should create a new file. I need to provide a path over here. I'm going to provide a path over here as um, vast dot file name. I'm going to create this file name as a variable just before this and payload if you want to keep it as it is you can keep it we will store it the file content in the payload or if you want to specify in a variable you can specify that also i'm leaving as payload as it is and okay you can see here create a parent directory if it is any parent directory if you are giving it will create it automatically if you want to log that file you can specify over here log that file true by default, it is a false. With the same file, if you are sending a, another file, if it is already existed, it will overwrite if you put it overwrite. If you want to create a new, you can specify create a new. That is the third step you need to do. The fourth step is you need to map file name, file content. I'm going to use a transform message over here. I'm going to say that over here, create a variable, file name. I'm going to create a file name over here. What is the content I want to pass it over here? I have some test data over here. This is the event uh, URL, which I'm going to send it. When I send it here, I have a payload. The payload is input data. I have a file name over here. I'm going to take it from here payload dot file name that is a file name and file content is the payload which i mapped it over here in the right component right i need to pass it over here the file content is if you see that i'm passing this file uh, content in a base64 how i'm getting over here i'm using this website I can upload my file over here, any of the file. I have uploaded one of the file and generate this base 64 data. You can see this text is generating. That data I'm passing over here. That means here, payload dot 
content. So this trailer.content is coming through those uh, HTTP URL in the uh, request. This is base64 data. I want to convert it before storing the into the SFTP location. I need to convert into which format? The actual file content. This is base64, right? So in Microsoft, we have from base64 function is available which will convert the data from base64 to the uh, binary format. This one, if you see that, I need to import this base64 function from this library. Click on OK. Now you can see from these binaries, this function is going to import it. So that file content, sorry, I think I did some mistake over here. I just added this in a file content. The whole code should go to over here, the payload, and file name should be payload.file. Should be as it is. Right? This is the file name from the input request, the file name I'm taking, and the file content is payload.file content and that is coming in a base64 format which I'm converting into binary format before I store it. That mapping we need to do. As soon as it created a file, if you want to say some message, you can use a transform message over here. I can use transform message and say that JSON status, I can say that success and message file created successfully in SFTP. That I'm providing. Now, that's it integration. But if I want to test it, I should get some event generated over here. I'm going to use HTTP listener to receive a event over here that will be through this URL. I'm going to configure that HTTP listener. Click on plus over here, the connection details. I'm leaving as it is the default connection details. And my path is going to be upload over here. So with this HTTP listener, I can up receive an event and that will be transformed the file content over here that will store it in a payload. And the file name will be stored in a variable called file name. Now using SFTP write component, the variable, whatever the file name it is coming, that will create the file name with the file content what is there in a payload. Let's get tested this one. Right click, run this project. While it is running, try to understand this URL. This is HTTP uh, listener URL. And this is the file name which I'm sending over here. And the file content I already explained using this website. I generated the base64. I'm passing this file content over here in the base64. As soon as I submit this request, the request will receive over here event will be generated and it will be transform the data and it will create a file in SFTP location and it will give this successful response back to the my uh, consumer over here using this. I'm testing from the postman. In the postman, I should be able to see that response over here. And then if I verify this in SFTP location, I should be able to see the file over here. Let me see, I hope this is deployed now. Yes, it is deployed. Let me clear the log. I'm going to use this HTTP URL to submit a request send. Now you can see I'm getting successful response. The file created successfully in SFTP location and I don't see any errors in the logs also. And then if I go back to the my file location over here, I will re just refresh it, go to the upload folder over here and you can see it is created last modified or created open C November 28 on this time. And if I open this file, 
click on that file i should be able to see that file content over here you can see this is the file content which i uploaded into sftp okay. so now i hope this is clear very simple using this sftp connector we can integrate with sftp server and we can send the data securely through the mule soft i'm going to repeat the steps again add the sftp connector connection as a dependency create a global configuration for sftp connectivity and then drag and drop write component in here and transform the file content and file name whatever we have mapped over here that's it that's simple it is that's it for today thank you for watching this video please like share subscribe netbook see you in the next video thank you